Now, this practice problem here, we are going to have to refer back to practice problem one, which is uh, the one where we just solved for the distance between them. Um, it says, what must the distance between two 0.8 kilogram balls be if the magnitude of gravitational force between them is equal to that in practice problem one? So we're going to take the same gravitational force here. So Fg is still 8.92 times 10 to the negative 11th newtons. But now both of our masses are going to be 0.8 kilograms. So we still know that Fg is big G M1 M2 over the distance squared. So R squared then is big G M1 M2 over Fg. Take the square root of both sides. Okay. So we get R then, or the distance, is the square root of big G M1 M2 over Fg which is going to be equal to the square root, go ahead and write that out, 6.676 times 10 to the negative 11th newton meter squared per kilogram squared times 0.8 kilogram squared. I'm going to go ahead and just write it like this, okay, because it's 0.8 kilograms times 0.8 kilograms. All right, all divided by 8.92 times 10 to the negative 11th newtons. All right, now I'm going to get kilogram squared. That should cancel all that out, but I still need to square this now. Um, in my numerator then, I'm going to go ahead and take care of that 0.8 squared before I forget. So I'm going to do 0.8 squared times the constant of universal gravitation. So my numerator then would be 4.27 times 10 to the negative 11 newton meter squared divided by 8.92 times 10 to the negative 11 newtons. My newtons will cancel. I'll end up with meters squared. Got 4.27 times 10 to the negative 11 and my numerator divided by 8.92 times 10 to the negative 11. Okay. Here we get 0 0.479 meters squared. Take the square root. Sorry, I keep changing up the colors here. So the square root of meters squared is meters. Square root of about a half. Uh, let's go ahead and just plug this in. So square root of that answer would be 0 0.4. 0.692 meters, or about 0 0.7 meters. Okay, so this is actually, they're, they're twice as far away, yet have, or they're twice as far away in this case, roughly, a little over twice as far away, um, <clears throat> than the two smaller balls in practice problem one, and they still have the same gravitational force pulling them towards each other, or the same attraction for each other, and again, we do see that as our masses increase, so does the gravitational force.